Diversity in science is, is really important. It's very important that we have diverse voices, mindsets, people with different ways of approaching problems around the table when we're trying to solve these important scientific problems. At the heart, there's diversity of thinking. Um, people have all, come from all different backgrounds and bring um, different um, training and ideas and backgrounds. And science really benefits from different voices at the table. It really seems common sense um, that you would want to have as many different voices and as many different opinions as possible when you're trying to solve a problem. You can talk about that in terms of gender, you can talk about that in terms of ethnicity, but you can also talk about that in terms of your scientific training, your understanding. I've benefited in my own research from having a diverse lab of co-workers. Uh, right from the outset of my independent career, I've had very good gender balance in my lab and I've worked to recruit people from other underrepresented groups, um, people who might have historically been excluded from the sciences. In the United States, this might be people of color, also people who are gay identifying or queer identifying. The more open we are to new ideas, I think the better our science uh, is at the end of the day. My lab has always been known as a welcoming place for folks who might think of themselves as being kind of minoritized. And I always thought that this was my not so hidden superpower. <laughs> um, and people have asked me many times over the years, you know, what was, what was the recipe for success, you know, for you in your lab? And, and it was very simple, it was diversity.